welcome back to the channel uh, it's about four o'clock in the morning we're heading up to Horsetooth Reservoir in Fort Collins Colorado for a tournament with Colorado Kayak Fishing Club uh, I did a little bit of pre-fishing yesterday didn't find a whole lot other than a lot of four to eight inch fish which of course is not gonna cut it uh, I'm gonna have to find something bigger my plan originally was to launch up north um, but it sounds like out of the 40 or so anglers that we have signed up for this tournament, probably 25 to 30 of them are launching up north uh, from the chatter I'm hearing. So I think I'm gonna make a game time decision and launch from the marina down south instead. Um, don't know if that's the right decision, but I figure I'll try to get away from the crowds as much as I can. I think all those main lake points up there are just gonna be crowd too crowded. So yeah, let's uh, get loaded up here in a minute, get out on the water, see what we can find. There we go. Let's do it. Launched. Uh, launch was 5:15. Lines in 5:30. It's 5:26. Uh, someone was on the first point. I wanted to start at, but that's okay. That's to be expected. Uh, so, pedaling across the lake to my secondary spot. Hopefully, they're there because I didn't pre-fish there yesterday. It was too windy. So, let's see what we got. All right, made it to the first spot. 532, lines in. Gonna try some top water first thing, just cause how can you not, but don't know how long I'm gonna stick with it. How deep it is here. Water level is super high right now. That's terrible. So yeah, I'm gonna go through here with a top water and then come back through it with a probably a drop shot. That's what I was getting most of them yesterday. Pre fishing. Although the drop shot was mostly just getting dinks. I mean like micro dinks, like four inches. The ones that make you wonder what the heck they're doing hitting a bait that big. So I was just hung up down there, and when I pulled it up, this little guy was on the end of it. He's not one that I would necessarily want at the end of the day, but 8-inch minimum in this club, so we'll take everything we can get to start with. Ooh, 11-incher. Look at that. 11 and a quarter. Ooh, starting out strong. Number one. I'm 
looking for. That's a good one. That's one. Okay, yep. Yes! Alright. That's a keeper. Oh, heck yeah. Alright. I like it. Seventeen. Heck, yeah. Okay. Heck, yeah. Alrighty then. scoreable this eight inch minimum I don't know yeah he'll score but we don't want him uh, let's just get our limit don't worry about that okay whatever we got you oh, gonna need some better ones than that I ain't gonna cut it. that big but he might be scoreable. Oh jeez. Barely. Damn bro, he choked it. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Get out of here. Number five. He might actually be over twelve. Eh, eh, not much over twelve if he is. But that's okay. He's number five. Now we can start upgrading. Alright. There he is, number five. Oh, that wasn't even going. got our fifth fish submitted. Tony X was having some issues, so that's number five. Let's see where we're at. It's a very small limit, so still got to upgrade, but still want to see what everybody else is doing. 
Paul Roth in first with 64, me in second with 61. Ooh, 61. That's brutal. Okay, we're gonna have to do some work. Oh shoot, what's my smallest? 1025 and 1050. All right. Throwing a Ned rig right now, which is one of my least favorite ways to fish, but I've got a few on it, so oh, there's another one on it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna help. Well, maybe. Might might give me a little bit. I don't think a whole lot, if anything. Oh no, he ain't gonna help. Nope. So yeah, as I was saying, Ned rig, really don't, don't like throwing a Ned rig. It's just not a fun way to fish, but it is getting bites, so gotta keep trying it. Mother of oh, there we go. Should help a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. I think. Oh Jesus, maybe not. Ten two five is my small. I don't think he's a whole lot more than that. He'll get me maybe an inch. Keep them on the friggin' board. Alright, get out of here. This one should help if I can get it in. Oh yeah, that one will help. I'm not huge, but it'll help. Oh, come on. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna push into the friggin' rocks here. Friggin' rollerbladers of the water. This one feels good. Oh, jeez, he barely held. Get in there. No, no, no. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, midday report time. Um, 
I wouldn't say it's slow. I've been catching a lot, but it's hard to get. Uh, it's been hard to get big fish. I, think my, I did get a, a 16.75, which is pretty good for here. Uh, but then just like 13s. I think I got a 14 and something. My smallest is 11.25. So uh, yeah, I think I got about three hours left. Uh, I'm heading back to the spot I started this morning where I got that 1675 uh, before I head back towards the marina and spend the last hour or so in there uh, away from all these friggin' wake boats that are swamping me. But, uh, anyway, score, scoreboard shows me in second, which as usual, I'm not putting any stock in that. There's a lot of people who haven't uploaded yet, so I expect it to change quite a bit by the time all is said and done. So, um, yeah, let's get back after it. Try to try to make a few more upgrades. I think I'm at 67.75, so my goal is to at least break 70. I think if I think I can get to 70, that'll hopefully put me in the top 10. So, see what we can do. Might be at 1125. Oh, can boat bros are at it today with their sweet ass music. All right, let's see. You're gonna break 1125? Nah, a little bit. Give me an inch. Okay, get out of here. Oh, I'll give you what, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, something like that. Every little bit is going to count in this one, that's for sure. and a half. Well, he looks like he might help. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he'll help. Maybe. Yeah, I'll help a little bit. Give me an inch or so.
feels like a pretty good one. And of course, I got a freight line. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, come here. Come here, yes! Oh, yes, that is gonna help. That is gonna help for sure. Oh, look at that, right in the top of the level, and it just fell out, oh my goodness. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, nice one. Heck yeah. All right, that's a wrap. Um, still got about 10 or 15 minutes till lines out, but I have four pictures to upload and uh, service is crappy here, so I gotta go load up and get on the other side of the hill so I can upload. Uh, had a few upgrades there in the last hour, so. Um, I might be, I'm probably in the top 10, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know, who knows? I have no idea, but we'll see. Yeah, go load up, head over to Wards and see how we did. finished up at awards and I ended up in ninth place out of like 41, 42, something like that. So uh, pretty happy with that. Top 10 is always a goal. Um, after my practice where I really wasn't finding any big fish, I didn't have a ton of confidence going into today, but um, as you saw, I had a couple late, late calls that really helped me out. So yeah, all in all, not bad. That 75 inches, what I finished with, which is not too bad for a horse tooth. Uh, normally that would have got me higher, but um, some guys had some really good bags today. I think 80, 81 and a half won it, which again, for horse tooth is, is a pretty good bag. So anyway, that's a wrap for Horse Tooth Reservoir with CKFC. Uh, next one is at Red Willow again out in Nebraska where the site of my first ever win. So excited to go back there, even though I've never been there in August. It's going to be a totally different lake, but what just rolled off my roof. So until then, thanks for watching as always. Like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. And until next time, get after them. Just a fan of the romance